Good morning. Welcome to the Daily Office. Thank you for joining me. This is Morning Prayer for Thursday, June the 7th. The scripture for this service, Psalm 50, Matthew chapter 14, verse 13 to 21, and a canticle from Colossians chapter 1, verse 12 through 20. Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. Alleluia, the God of gods, Yahweh, has spoken and summoned the earth. Alleluia. Psalm 50. The God of gods, Yahweh, has spoken and summoned the earth from the rising of the sun to its setting. Out of Zion's perfect beauty, God shines. Our God comes and does not keep silence. Announced by devouring fire and surrounded by raging tempest, God calls on the heavens and the earth to witness the judgment of his people. Summon before me my people who made covenant with me by sacrifice. The heavens proclaim God's justice, for God indeed is the judge. Listen, people, I will speak. Israel, I testify against you, for I am God your God. I accuse you and lay the charge before you. I find no fault with your sacrifices. Your offerings are always before me. I ask not more bullocks from your farms, nor goats from among your herds. For I own all the beasts of the forest, beasts in their thousands on my hills. I know all the birds in the sky, all that moves in the field belongs to me. Were I hungry, I would not tell you, for I own the world and all it holds. Do you think that I eat the flesh of bulls or drink the blood of goats? Offer to God your sacrifice. To the Most High pay your vows. Call on me in the day of your distress. I will free you, and you shall honor me. But God says to the wicked, How can you recite my commandments and take my covenant upon your lips? You who despise my law and throw my words to the winds. You who see thieves and go with them, who throw in your lot with adulterers, who unbridle your mouth for evil, and whose tongue is plotting crime. You who sit and malign your kinfolk and slander your brothers and sisters. You do this, and should I keep silence? Do you think that I am like you? Mark this, you who never think of me lest I seize you and you cannot escape. A sacrifice of thanksgiving honors me. I will show my salvation to the upright. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. The God of gods, Yahweh, has spoken and summoned the earth. Alleluia. The lesson is from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 13, beginning, or chapter 14, beginning at verse 13. Now when Jesus had heard this, he withdrew from there in a boat to a deserted place by himself. And when the crowds heard it, they followed him on foot from the towns. When he went ashore, he saw a great crowd, and he had compassion for them and cured their sick. And when it was evening, the disciples came to him and said, This is a deserted place, and the hour is now late. Send the crowds away so that they may go into the villages and buy food for themselves. And Jesus said to them, They need not go away. Give them something to eat. And the disciples replied, We have nothing but five loaves and two fish. And Jesus said, Bring them here to me. And then he ordered the crowds to sit down on the grass. Taking the five loaves and the two fish, he looked up to heaven and blessed and broke the loaves and gave them to the disciples, and the disciples gave them to the crowds. And all ate and were filled, and they took up what was left over of the broken pieces, twelve baskets full. And those who ate were about five thousand men, besides women and children. Here ends the lesson. Now let us offer our prayers and petitions. O God, we pray for the Holy Church that all may be one. Grant that every member of the Church may truly and humbly serve you, 
that your name may be glorified by all people. We pray for all of our church leaders and for all clergy and ministers, that they may be faithful ministers of your word and sacraments. We pray for Barack and Joe and John, and for all who govern and hold authority in the nations of the world, that there may be justice and peace on the earth. Have compassion on those who suffer from any grief or trouble, that they may be delivered in their distress. For the aged and the infirm, especially Marjorie and Ronald Francis, for the unemployed, especially Bill and Robert and Carrie, for the incarcerated, especially for Christian, for the sick, especially for Brother Wes and Jeffrey, for those who grieve, especially the Boney family. Give to the departed eternal rest, especially George, Tom, Walter Arthur, and Barbara, and let light perpetual shine upon them. We praise you for Francis and Claire and for all your saints who have entered into your joy. May we also come to share in your heavenly kingdom. For the mercy of God community, that it may continue to rush toward Christ. For the mercy of God retreat June the 13th through June 17th. That God who's begun this ministry may bring it to fulfillment. For the intentions of all who've asked our prayers and for all of your intentions. Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Alleluia. Give thanks to our heavenly God, who has enabled us to share in the inheritance of the saints in the light. Alleluia a canticle from the letter to the Colossians. Give thanks to our heavenly God, who has enabled you to share in the inheritance of the saints in the light. God has rescued us from the power of darkness and transferred us into the kingdom of the beloved, in whom we have redemption, the forgiveness of sins. Christ is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creation, for in Christ all things in heaven and on earth were created, things visible and invisible, whether thrones or dominions or rulers or powers, all things have been created through Christ and for Christ. Christ is before all things, and in Christ all things hold together. Christ is the head of the body, the church. Christ is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead, so that Christ may have come to have first place in everything. For in Christ all the fullness of God was pleased to dwell, and through Christ God was pleased to reconcile all things to God, whether on earth or in heaven, by making peace through the blood of Christ's cross. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word, and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Give thanks to our heavenly God who has enabled you to share in the inheritance of the saints in the light. Alleluia. We trust in the mercy of God forever. And glory to God whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus, now and forever. Amen. Alleluia.